thanks for those, Doug. And we move on to the Ryanair Chase, which is race 17. And on day two of the Cheltenham Festival, it's a two mile five foot on grade one. It's a number one Black Rain for Molly at Surfer, two Dog House for David Robertson, three Fox Newton. Fox Norton for John Morgan, four St David's Day for Graham Clutterbuck, five the French Daniel for Del Hinton, six Westminster Abbey for Paul Rhodes, a Vispa for Gosepa, or John Morgan, De Mero for Tam King, Stream Measures, Joshua Sutton, Orangi Boom Day, Darren Thompson, part of the plan, Paul Rhodes, and the Dark Lord for Joshua Sutherland. Make up twelve, a Vispa for John Morgan, so that pre race favourite. The start has let him in and they're already away. Sprinting out of the pack is the two John Morgan horses, Fox Norton, a Vispa. Well, that's oh, we've lost one. St. David's Day's gone for Graham Clatterbuck. Welsh Saint has fallen. Bad luck there. So, you know, nothing worse than going out on the first fence of any event. But it's Fox Norton and a Vispa that lead us from the third grade of Mero. And we've got extreme measures out wide. So that is the Dark Bull, both for Joshua Sutherland. The fourth grey with the yellow cap on. It's David Robertson's doghouse. The outside of that now is part of the plan from Paul Rhodes. And then a couple back to Black Rain of Molly at Surfer. Del Hinton's the French Daniel. Westminster Abbey's at the rear. A Randy Boom Day for Darren Thompson. So they've finally settled down a little bit now. There's still two miles to travel. It's Fox Norton from a Vispa. And we've got a Demero. String measures and doghouse pushing through. And Dark Lord and part of the plan. Into the fourth. Skips over it quite well, although Westminster Abbey was a little bit slow up the rear. Biding his time. So up front, Fox Norton leads into the fifth. We'll get over that. Again, Westminster Abbey was a little bit slow over it. And he's getting a little bit detached from the, the rear of the last pack. It's probably 15 to 20 lengths from first to last, probably closer to 15. But it's still Fox Norton leading by a couple from a Vispa. And we've got Dog House in third. We get to the six. He's over it. Well, Westminster Abbey again was slow over it. So John Morgan looking to build on yesterday's three winners. Take the seventh of 17. So another 10 to jump. Uh, this one and Fox Norton are together now as they swing left handed away from the stands. Now for a further circuit of a mile and a half, it's Fox Norton and a Vispa. Demera, the dark little part of the plan, extreme measures and doghouse. Then a length and a half or so back to Orangi Boom Day and Black Rain, followed through by the French Daniel and Westminster Abbey still bringing up the rear. So as we approach the next, it's Fox Norton that's going to lead us over it. Norton sits with the red cap, gets over it well. This does a rest, and took that reasonably well. Moving to in a bit closer order now is the Dark Lord, moved up into third. But it's still Fox Norton and Vispa, the Dark Lord and Demero as they go over the ninth of water. No, no problems with that. But it's still Fox Norton from a Vispa, the Dark Lord now drawing alongside a Vispa. Pre race favourite. Get to the tenth this time. Uh, Paul's part of the plan, made a little bit of an error going over the top of that one. Get to the eleventh. Oh, he jumps that one well. So, Dark Lord drops back again. Allowed Fox Norton a Vispa to go off in the lead. We've got Doghouse in fourth. And the three horses are part of the plan. They get to this big ditch. They're all over it. And again, I'm not sure Westminster Abbey jumped it particularly well. He's managed to survive. He's done 13 of them. Well, this will be the 13th, and he gets over that well. He jumped it really well. He jumped himself up into sort of mid pack. But still with a Five, six length advantage at the front is a Vispa Fox Norton and then just uh, the Dark Law trying to hang on to their coattails by a couple of lengths back to the extreme measures and part of the plan as they go to the 14th better jump by all but still up front it's Fox Norton from a Vispa the Dark Law trying to get better position as his extreme measure now and part of the plan these five have pulled four five six maybe seven lengths away from Doghouse is bringing the rest of them along as they go over the 15th. There's only going to be two to jump here. There's a little bit of a change up front. Extreme Measures took that best, so Extreme Measures leads now from Fox Norton on the inside. Got part of the plan, Dark Lord together. The other grey of Vispa, the favourites against the fence and being well pushed along. Doghouse trying to make up the ground and catch on to this leading pack with Demero. Black Rain, Westminster Abbey, the French Daniel, Orangi Boom. 
today have got a lot to do from where they are we're inside the two and a half as they come down to the 16th it's the penultimate it's extreme measures oh and he went through the top of it both the southern horses didn't jump that well so fox norton now balls alongside extreme measures got a furlong and a half to travel on the outside is part of the plan so it's these three fox norton extreme measures part of the plan these three lead now going up the hill and it's extreme measures that just noses in front we're inside the final half now and it's extreme measures by about a length from fox norton running on well on the outside is the dark lord so it's the dark lord fox norton coming back dark lord on the outside dark lord's going to take it probably from fox norton extreme measures just hung on for third great finish to the ryanair chase there it's gone to the dark lord but joshua sutherland looks like possibly a one two i think fox norton might got up for second he did so the dark lord takes it from john morgan's fox norton a third for extreme measures for the sutherland stable so picking up a first and third plenty of points in the competition there Fourth was part of the plan for Paul Rhodes, and fifth was the pre-race favourite for John Morgan, a Vispa.